enough. What do you mean? I'm gonna give you one secret fat burning tip that is gonna help you lose fat more efficiently. So most people go on a fat loss journey and they really work hard day in and day out or uh, they do everything that it requires to do for a fat burning process but are they doing it very smartly that's the main question right not all fat loss journeys will give you results uh, just with the hard work you will always have to work smart enough to get good results so when i say smart enough you will also have to employ specific methods that i'm going to share in the video that will help you lose fat purely fat efficiently and uh, this will give you a good knowledge on fat burning process before we jump into the video uh, if you're feeling generous gently hit that subscribe button for me and please hit the most like important button. aspect in burning fat is something which most people neglect is something called fat burning zone right now what is fat burning zone the fat burning zone is actually your heart rate that will elevate more fat loss when you're working out all right so most people just do cardio or run or walk and do various forms of cardio without having a knowledge about the fat burning zone so on a brief a fat burning zone is a specific zone where you can burn your fat which i'll explain in detail as we go on i'll give you one quick example for a 35 year old woman let's determine the maximum heart rate for her right so you just have to do a simple math for example 220 minus the age that is 35 will give you 185 beats per minute so this 185 will actually be the maximum heart rate which is 100 percent for that particular woman now in order for you to get into the fat burning zone you will have to do 70 percent of maximum heart rate now for a 35 year old woman her maximum heart rate is 185 now if you take 70 percent of it you're gonna get about 130 beats per minute now 130 is the ideal fat burning zone for that particular woman now you know if she is working out and if she's doing a cardio or doing any sort of uh, intense session she should make sure that she maintains her heart rate around that fat burning zone which is understood what is 70 percent of maximum heart rate let's move on on determining how do you understand uh, if you are on that particular heart rate or fat burning zone right so there are two possibilities one you can actually buy a smartwatch like this which you will get in the market for very cheap these days uh, you will get it on amazon number two let's say if you are not able to afford uh, a smartwatch there is another strategy that I, that I used to do in my college days right so what what used to happen is uh, most of the times you are unaware of what heart rate uh, or what zone you are in so the best way to understand is let's say if you are running on a treadmill uh, in order for you to understand whether you are in that particular zone is you must be able to speak partially when you are running on a treadmill in this way you will understand if you are in the fat burning zone so if you are not able to talk completely that means you are on a higher zone if you are able to talk mildly if you are able to communicate and you are just on short of breath on medium terms that means you are in and around fat burning zone so these are the two possibilities that you can best analyze whether you're in a fat burning zone and uh, how to do it is another question uh, you know you can actually wake up early in the morning the best time to do this would be on an empty stomach as soon as you wake up you just set a timer on your watch you just have to do like 30 to 45 minutes of uh, cardio session could be any form of cardio could be treadmill walking outdoor running or could be any any other uh, form of cardio that you prefer and you just have to make sure that your heart rate is close enough or in that particular heart bur fat burning zone right now continue to do this for about 30 to 45 minutes for over two to three months trust me guys you will lose a lot of fat 
when I say fat, it's purely taken from your fat stores, not from your glycogen. All right. Now, <clears throat> the science is what happens behind is in your body there are two reserves, right? One is glycogen <clears throat> that is, that comes purely from your carbohydrates. Another one is fats, right? Which is you know your fat, stubborn belly fat or whatever, wherever the fat is. Now your body takes glycogen when you are doing intense form of workouts. So when your body is on 90% or 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate, that's when your body readily picks up the glycogen reserves. Now when your body is again in the fat burning zone, uh, it thinks that hey I don't need carbohydrates right now, I can just use the fat stores and it, it can just pull out the fat slowly. So this is the kind of process that goes inside your body and this is why I am recommending you to do uh, you know fat burning zone cardio or fat burning zone sort of workouts which will actually help you burn fat. So your goal has to be burning fat not losing weight right. So this is the major tip that I wanted to share with you. Now so far if you guys have reached till here I am again you know requesting you to hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling generous, gently hit that like button for me. Uh, you know, I'll make more videos. If you think this has been helpful, let me know in the comment section what you want to know more about this. I'm free to explain. And uh, until then, I will talk to you soon in the next episode. Take care of yourself and lots of love.